Hey guys, back here with Tua for another one. One of the main traits that seem to attract people to the Bull Mastiff, myself included, is their low energy, laid back, lazy, and chill personality. Not everybody wants a dog that wants to get out and run with you every single day or go hiking with you every single day. When I was younger, I wanted a dog that had more energy. Now that I'm older and I have kids and I have more stuff going on, I wanted a dog that if I wanted to go out and do stuff with, he was capable and willing, but that if we had to just sit around for a few days or maybe even a week with only doing something like a walk, it would be okay. Now these days there's nothing more that Tua likes to do than curl up on the floor and take a good nap. And he can do that pretty much all day if we allow him to. But I just wanted to make a quick video to tell you guys that it doesn't always start like this. Now this might be completely obvious to the more experienced dog owner, but I've seen plenty of people online in various areas such as Reddit or Facebook groups, things like that, YouTube as well, where they're complaining about this bull mastiff that they got, you know, six, seven, eight, nine months old, and they thought they were gonna be getting a dog that was very low energy, and they're complaining that it's a high energy dog. So what people need to realize is these dogs, although they eventually morph into this very lazy dog that you see right here, it doesn't start out like this. They're gonna be puppies, and they're gonna be adolescents, and they're gonna be high energy for a while. Albeit they might be a little bit more low energy compared to other working breed dogs at that age, but they definitely are not going to be the lazy dog that they will eventually become when they're two or three years old. I've mentioned this many times in uh, some of my update pup date videos that I used to do more often, that these dogs eventually get like this, super lazy, super chill, super relaxed, which is what a lot of people are looking for. They don't want a high energy dog, and that's what they eventually become, as you can see right here with Tua now. But when he was a puppy, and again, every dog is going to be slightly different, but just speaking from my experience, he would mess with the kids, he would mess with our other dog, uh, he goes through the typical puppy things, the teething, the biting on clothes, high energy at times, zoomies, not listening. And uh, now he's great, and that's what most bull mastiffs will become. In fact, once they get older, three, four, five years old, you're probably going to have trouble taking them for walks and things like that. But there are certain things that you can do when they are young uh, to go ahead and try and wear them out a little bit so that they're easier to deal with for you. Although, there is something that you have to keep in mind with dogs in general, but especially the large breed, to giant breed dogs and that is their growth plates closing you don't want to run these dogs hard or do very vigorous exercise with them until those growth plates are closed now I've heard all kinds of answers as far as when the growth plates close as early as 18 months and as late as 36 months so that's something that you're gonna to have to discuss with your vet but you just want to keep in mind that you don't want to run these dogs hard to wear them out when you need a break when they're young and energetic Doing that can lead to a lot of joint problems as they age down the road that you really want to avoid. So what can you do? Well, there's a few things that you can do. You can do basic obedience with these dogs, whether that's a class or whether you do it by yourself. Mental stimulation is key. It doesn't always have to be physical. You can wear these dogs out just by doing lots of mental st stimulation, making them think. Another thing you can do is short walks which is great because it gets you exercise and it gets the dog exercise and it's going to be easy on them but you don't want them to be running hard until they're much older. Now this isn't something that you can prevent with 100% certainty especially if you have your dog off leash a lot but it is something that you just want to be aware of and kind of just always have in the back of your mind like okay I don't want to be working this dog too hard. With Tua we definitely had him running around probably younger than we should have but it wasn't like I was going out of my way to do it. If he was off leash and he was just running, then I would just let him run. But I wasn't going out of my way, like say going for a bike ride and having him run next to me. It's just something that you want to be aware of and be thinking about. And then our favorite thing to do with Tua when he was younger was to take him to dog friendly stores such as Home Depot, Lowe's, PetSmart, any kind of local store that you have that's uh, dog friendly. Get them out as often as you can. Just walk them around the store for a half hour, 45 minutes, 
And there were so many times when Tua was younger that we would bring him to a store and he would come home and just absolutely crash. My wife and I would look at each other and be like, wow, we didn't even do anything. He wasn't very physical or anything like that. But just the mental stimulation of seeing all the people, seeing all the new sights, all the new sounds, smells, things like that, he would get home and just absolutely be, just he would act like he just ran a mile hard and pass out. So that's something that you guys can do to keep your bull mastiff uh, stimulated and worn out to a certain point. But I just wanted to put this video together quickly just to let you guys know that's probably the number one thing that I would kind of urge new bull mastiff owners to think about. Yes, this dog eventually is going to be a very lazy and low energy dog, but it's not gonna start like that. The first year, possibly up to two, they're gonna have bursts of energy, they're gonna do all the normal puppy things, and you're gonna get frustrated with them like a normal puppy. But eventually, if you keep at it, be patient, they will eventually go into that nice, lazy bull mastiff that you would think you would have. Thanks for watching.